Goods Enterprise News Headlines. I am Angela Akka. The Minister of State for Aviation, Hadi Sirikars, confirmed that the proposed national airline for Nigeria would be unveiled before the end of the year. Mr. Sirikar, a former pilot, gave the assurance while receiving the Outline Business Care Certificate of Compliance for the establishment of the airline from Chidi Izuwa, the Director General, Infrastructure Concession Regulatory Commission. According to him, Nigeria's population of over 180 million people is huge enough to support aviation, adding that the airline would take advantage of bilateral air service agreements, which the country has with over 70 countries. He gave an assurance that the national carrier would not kill the domestic airlines operating in the country. The Central Bank of Nigeria, CBN, has confirmed a partnership with the National Center for Women Development in a bid to improve credit facilities for female entrepreneurs in the country. The head, Strategy Coordination Office, Financial Inclusion Secretariat Development, CBN's finance department, Mr. Atta revealed this during the weekend at Abuja. According to him, there was a need to improve women's access to finance, saying that the meeting was geared towards finding possible initiatives that would address the challenges faced by women in accessing financial services. He added that countries with more banks' accounts and more access to finance are better in human development, noting that there is huge connection between finance and well-being of countries worldwide. In Africa, the International Monetary Fund said Cameroon's economy is expected to grow 4% this year, up from 3.2% in 2017. According to a report, Cameroon's growth was slower in 2017 because of a sharp decline in oil output, but new infrastructure projects and increased private investment should bring it to at least 5% in the medium term. Cameroon, which is one of the Central Africa's largest economies, produces about 180,000 barrels per day of oil and is Africa's fourth biggest cocoa producer. However, the IMF statement followed a decision by its executive board to approve the disbursement of $77.8 million as part of a two-year $680.7 million financial aid package. Still on the African continent, Namibian Deputy Prime Minister Netum Bonandi has urged regional economic communities such as SDC and ECOWAS to fast-track the ongoing regional effort towards operationalization of the Africa Continental Free Trade Area. The minister made the call during the opening of the inaugural Joint Commission of Cooperation between Namibia and Senegal in Dakar, Senegal. Report reveals Namibia and Senegal are among the 49 African countries that have to death sign the African Continental Free Trade Area. She added that Namibia is not only threatening, depending and broadening bilateral relations between Senegal and Namibia, but is also taking concrete steps towards the achievement of shared goals and aspirations. And on the foreign scene, struggling mother and baby product retailer Mother Care says it will shut 60 stores instead of the 50 previously earmarked for closure. Report reveals the extra closure mainly come from its children's world of vision, which will go into administration. The closure will put 900 jobs at risk, up from the 800 previously stated. However, Mother K also confirmed that it will be raising another £32.5 million from its existing shareholders by issuing new shares. <laughs> Moving down to sport, President of the Nigeria Football Federation, Hamadou Melvin Pinnick, has been confirmed as the match commissioner for the 2018 FIFA World Cup first semi-final match between France and Belgium in St. Petersburg tomorrow. The match, which will be the fifth match Phoenix would commission at the finals in Russia, will begin at 7 p.m. Nigerian time and is potentially going to be an explosive clash at the 607,000 capacity Zenit Arena. However, he remains the only Nigerian involved at such high level of operation at the FIFA World Cup. And that's it on Enterprise News Headlines for today. For more news, updates, special reports and shows, you can visit our website www.enterprisetv.tv. Our social media platform are always there for your all-round information in the world of business. I am Angela Akpa. Many thanks for watching.